hello welcome back um, so today we're going to give I'm gonna give you an update on the cardiologist and that's my electrophysiologist which is the uh, specialist that cover the orthostatic intolerance for me so um, I went for my regular checkup and my I think it's ECG EDG, whatever uh, where they check your heart everything came back okay so he did change um, a few things so um, when I'm exercising he wants me on the beta blocker I don't know if he's right because he's saying that you know it will give me a lower heart rate and I'll have more room to hit the anaerobic threshold but when I was doing my research, it's not a linear relationship, right? So if you were to take the beta blocker and you, um, you know, your heart rate goes down beats per minute, does not mean that your anaerobic threshold stayed at the same. So I did ask the specialists when I went to Cleveland Clinic, they have an exercise department for POTS. And I asked them and I said, okay, um, you know, how does it work? And for me to know the new anaerobic threshold with once I'm in the beta blocker, I would have to get tested again because it's not like a linear relationship. And to be honest, I don't think any of them know how to calculate that, which was very interesting to me because, you know, I'm not the only person in this situation, uh, but they, you know, whatever. Anyways, my electrophysiologist, one he's like why don't you go over your anaerobic threshold and i'm like because of my chronic fatigue syndrome and he's like oh right um so he 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 was kind of a little bit you know just don't worry about it go exercise and and i did tell him i was doing some a little bit of weight training nothing crazy and i'm talking about you know i can really do them very easily and he's like, you do know that's anaerobic. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And you know, and he's like, why don't you wanna go anaerobic? And I was like, because it crashes me with the chronic fatigue syndrome and it hurts really bad. Uh, once I, you know, I'm uh, alone to him, he's like, yeah, but you're lifting weight. So he couldn't understand the whole POTS versus chronic fatigue syndrome, I think. Um, he humors me and I have seen where he's like, oh yeah, okay. Um, but I don't think it's because he understands or he has even bothered to try to understand. Um, so that's a little bit frustrating because I get very conflicting information from my chronic fatigue syndrome doctor versus my... Um, I get conflicting information from my chronic fatigue syndrome doctor versus my electrophysiologist. I been on the Ivabridian. Um, for about Ivabridin for about um, about three days now and he has me on five milligrams twice a day and I'm supposed to keep taking the beta blocker and the mitral drain also so I am NOT doing a full dose of mitral drain because I'm struggling with uh, my bombs popping out and I have noticed that when the more I get the vasoconstriction, the worse the uh, muscle tightening gets. So I have to kind of balance. So I'll start with one pill instead of two and I'll see where I go from there. I did explain to him that I was having, you know, the stomach ache and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how we go from there. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the gym now. Uh, so I decided to film before I go. And the gym I go is from work. Like my work has that as a benefit. So I don't really pay for the gym or anything. And I do live close by. So it's easy for me to go and come back. Um, and it's not even five minute drive. Um, and usually it's very empty, especially on the weekends because most people from work go before work or after work. So it's usually more crowded like in the five in the morning, that kind of stuff. When I have gone in the weekends, I'm by myself. So I'll just probably be by myself there exercising, um, which is kind of nice, um, you know, and you know, cause I have all these weird things where I would walk and then lay down if my heart rate goes really up. So I kind of have more privacy to uh, all the quirks that come with exercising with um, this disease. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't, please subscribe and rest well.